it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So we are still on our Christmas kick and I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. I just never put it all together. But I had these bins from Target for, gosh, it must be at least a year now, if not two years. Um, they are, they're in that dollar section, even though I feel like nothing is a dollar. <laughs> Um, but it's a gift bucket and let me see how much I bought it for back then. Oh, it's three dollars and it's so cute. So you can see it's um, Gosh, it's like eight inches high. So it's a sizable bucket and it's felt and um, It's just really really cute. And what I wanted to do was I bought these um, fake snowballs on Amazon and they're really like they're kind of dense. They're soft, but they're dense um, perfect for an indoor snowball fight. So I wanted to decorate this to put next to the tree. So I have on one side, because you can see the seams right here. So on one side, I'm gonna just put snowball fight. And then on the other side, I wanted to put snow much fun and little um, snowflakes all over. And so I wanted to show you, uh, because it's a curved surface, um, I'm gonna be using my mini. Um, and I want to show you how easy it is. So this is Cricut's Glitter Vinyl Iron-On. And I see a lot of, in the Facebook groups that I'm in, people complain about it, but it's so easy to weed. I'm going to show you how easy it is to stick it on. And so this is a quick tutorial, but in case you were worried about like, you know, what you can iron on or not, I iron everything. Um, I stick HTV on paper, notebooks, um, plastic <laughs> so it's just your temperature now I know this transfer sheet it kind of keeps it's a barrier between my um, my iron on or my iron and my HTV so I'm just gonna put it on two bars that's kind of like my gauge um, and I'm gonna stick my hand on the other side so the first thing we're gonna do is so let's see here's my thing and I like using fonts where it doesn't need to be so straight. I mean, this, the word much is kind of straight. So I'm going to put it on like that. So you can see, I just eyeballed it. <laughs> and let's go. So ready? So this, everything is covered here. So I'm just going to hit some heat on here. And what I like to do is, I have my hand underneath here to hold it. Um, and I can feel a little bit of heat, but not a lot. Um, what I like to do is kind of just get enough heat so that I can peel off the transfer sheet. So I'm going to do a quick check right now and see if, if I can pull off this with any of the, so the letters aren't sticking just yet. But you see how you can kind of almost peel it off? I mean, I don't want to peel off the whole thing. But see down here, the word fun is already sticking. So I'm going to peel it off because what I'm going to do is when I hit it with the Teflon sheet, it's it really allows for the heat to come through and it will definitely really, really stick then. But if you hit enough heat at all, it will stay. See how like this word stayed and my H isn't doing very well, but I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more heat and I think it'll be fine. Yeah, see that was enough heat for it to stick. And let's see, I'm gonna do a little bit more on the snow All right, here goes. Now you just wanna be careful as you're pulling up. So you see how this isn't totally sticking? Um, you don't want to like rip the HTV at all, obviously. So, and you don't wanna pull it. So like I did a little bit there. Um, all right, so it's going. I need to fix my S a little bit. But other than that, everything else is kind of like, it's sticking enough. So my S, I, I pulled a little bit, so I'm going to just lift up you see how that... Okay, so now everything is laying pretty flat. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Teflon sheet. This I bought on Amazon. It is on my Amazon shop. So you just go to amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. And I believe the Teflon sheets are just under um, general crafting supplies. But, okay, so I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to hit it one more time and I'll show you the difference um, 
it makes. See how my S now stays on? So I'm gonna do it a little bit more. And this time I'm gonna put my hand underneath because I didn't really have my hand under it. Um, just to give it some pressure so that it can get the heat. And the nice thing about some of these projects where, you know, when it's not closed, is that you're not going to be washing this. So you need to just activate the heat enough for it to stick. I mean, unless you have kids that are going to be peeling it off, but it's going to feel like a sticker, but a really, really sticky sticker. <laughs> All right, so I think this is enough. I'm going to pull it off. Yep, and see. And look how pretty that is. It's so cute. All right, so now I'm gonna show you. So on this side, I'm doing the snowflakes. So the snowflakes I did in a multi-glitter color. It's not shining through as much as I would like, but this is what's cool about glitter iron-on. So my snowflakes, all the ones that I picked, they are one piece. So look, I could even peel it off like here. If you wanna just skip the part about the transfer sheet because we could iron on with the transfer sheet um, but with the snowflake because it's all one piece you could just do this and it's so much prettier without the transfer sheet but see I, I'm just gonna put it on like this And look, there it is. So cute, right? Um, you just wanna make sure that you don't run your iron over any of the, um, the vinyl, of course, right? Um, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna do another one. And this time I'll show you the other way, the normal way that we, we would do it. So you would have your transfer sheet. The only reason why I don't like doing it now is because we already have this on, so you gotta make sure that your iron does not touch it at all, right? So I'm gonna put it here. I mean, I just love glitter iron on. It's such an easy material to work with. Look at, that was enough to heat it, for it to stick down. And then I'm gonna just run it a little bit with my Teflon on so that it gets enough heat. and you're done. Look at how cute that is. Um, so yeah, so you could just do a few more. And I just did it in different sizes and different, um, different shapes of the snowflake. So again, just be careful when you're applying this that you don't run your iron over um, the white glitter iron on. And there it is, it's so cute, I love it. Okay, so I definitely have a few more, we can definitely add that on, but let's go to the back side and let's do this one. So snowball fight, the word fight is a little bit more straight, so let's see, it's about, okay, I know. This is like very scientific, right? I'm using my, my pinkies are touching the, the seams on both sides and I'm kind of measuring it. Looks about right to me. <laughs> and this side, I'm just gonna hold it like this and I'm gonna iron it on. And on this one, I can't even really feel the heat at all. So I definitely, you know, I'm gonna want to get it sticking pull off the transfer sheet, and then have my Teflon sheet to really give it heat for it to stay on. Okay, let's see. Nope. Nope. And when you're doing fonts, I'll definitely show you how to do this in design, design space, but it's always cute to mix, to have two different fonts. So if you're gonna do one cursive, you want kind of like a print one to go with it, it goes really, really well to mix the two. 
Um, and these two fonts, the Fight one, it's one of my favorites for kids. Um, it's Happy Popcorn from Font Bundles. And then my top one is Southmore from Creative Fabrica, which I really love because it is whimsical, like, you know, it's cursive with the nice little lines and whatever, but the lines are thick enough that I'm not worried about, um, about it not cutting well. Okay, so this is not sticking as well as I would like. Just hit it with more heat. And if you're wondering, I love my mini. I really thought it was going to be a um, kind of a frivolous buy, but gosh, for projects like this on a rounded surface where you want to be a little bit precise with where you're putting your um, the heat, I love it. And the fact that it's so small, I take it out often and, and do lots of projects with it. Okay, so you see how that one's pulling up? I just want to put my finger down so I'm not like... Um, stretching out the vinyl at all, but this still looks really good. I'm just going to hit it with the heat now. This will really get it to stick. So, And then I'll fill it up with the snow so that you can see it. It's so cute. So um, I will definitely put the snowballs on my Amazon shop because that's where I got it. Okay, let's look at it now. Okay, so it looks like this is still not sticking, so I'm going to hit it with some heat right now, but everything else looks really good. So let's get this B down. Okay, that's all it needed was some extra heat. All right, so this is done. Snowball fight on one side. Snow much fun on the other side, and I do want to put more snowflakes. I do have still six more to apply, so I will definitely do that. But let me fill this up so you can see what it looks like. So these are the balls, and um, this is what it looks like. So I bought 48. Um, 48 is, it will fill up this bucket and leave you with about five or so. So this is a good size. Um, all right, that's it. So let me know what you think about the mini and how I did my iron on. And if you have any other um, special requests, please let me know. But comments and feedback are totally welcome. Thanks guys.